بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس میں محمود حسین اینڈ دس از دا تھرڈ سیٹ آف ویڈیوز آن نالج ریپرزینٹیشن یوزنگ نیو فور جی ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ سیمنٹک نیٹ ورکس ہاؤ وی کین میک سیمنٹک نیٹ ورکس ان نیو فور جی فسٹ آف آل Let's search about what is semantic network. So, if we see any of the image, semantic network is just a knowledge representation that has is a relationship. have relationship has relationship for example cat has fur cat is a mammal cat likes milk tommy is a cat so this type of graph this type of network graph is called semantic networks so how we can make it using new 4j when we have a simple sentence like if uh, someone says that cat has a fur then this should be represented in this type of graph for example if there must be a program if that program receive information like this cat has fur then there should be some mechanism that can understand that this part of sentence should become a node and this part of sentence this word should also become a node whereas this word or this part of sentence should become a relationship between them and that relationship should have this word as a label of relationship so how we can make such a program using new 4j that can take input a sentence like this and then that program could understand which part of sentence should uh, be represented in a node and which part of sentence should be represented in a for so of course we need uh, need a programming language and for that we will use python and uh, then we will learn we will see how we can uh, integrate new 4j with python and uh, then we will see how to understand sentence so to understand sentence we use of course nlp natural language processing technique and for that we are going to use nltk in the next part of video we will see how to use uh, nltk uh, in python for natural language processing to understand such parts or sentence like uh, uh, this word is grammatically 
noun this word is a noun and again this word is a noun whereas this word is verb so how we will see in the next part of video that how we can identify the part of speech how we can identify the which word belongs to which part of speech and then finally we'll see how to combine new 4j using python and uh, plus nlp some nlp techniques to make a semantic network okay so let's start so first of all we have to see that uh, how to we will make a project in python and uh, then we will see that how to integrate new forge in python so let's start first of all we will open uh pycharm we we are using pycharm as an id for development in python okay so first of all uh, we will see how to create a project in python and i will recommend you to make a project using virtual environment settings so that your project setting and the libraries and the version of python could be isolated for your project So first of all, we will create a new project. We'll uh, give it a name. Okay. So uh, to make. Uh, virtual environment in uh, pycharm it's very easy you have these two settings here you just need to make sure that uh, you set uh, your uh, these settings are selected new virtual new environment using virtual env uh, you can also use this setting if you don't want to make virtual environment but i will recommend that you I use virtual environment for this project and for all of this projects okay then uh, just uh, if you want to <coughs> include all your system level libraries into this project then you can select this option otherwise if you want to uh, make a blank project having no library included and then uh, just leave them as it is just to make sure if it's working okay fine so uh, in in my case uh, python interpreter is not configured 
but uh, when you will make a project it will be configured for you why uh, in my case there is an error because I have changed the name of python.exe file and it couldn't find that file due to the change of name so I'll manually tell, uh, tell it that where it's file where it's interpreter So I just keep uh, my PyCharm projects in um, Google Drive so they could be packed up regularly. So you can see as I have renamed my Python so that's why it given me error and I couldn't find out its uh, interpreter file that should be python.exe so in your case it would be python.exe so it won't give you any error like this so let it complete its process meanwhile uh, we can open new 4j as we want to connect Neo4j with Python so um, Neo4j must be turning in the background We also need to make sure that if there is enough space in your system So if there is not enough space we need to make some space So let's close it for now Okay, so uh, first of all, you can uh, make a new project. Project name, you can choose any name for project name uh, because it does not make any difference. It's just for own, your own classification of projects and uh, your own um, remembers. And then you can just add a local graph and uh, this name also does not have any significance just for own, your own purpose your own classification and organization yes this password its password should be um, easy and uh, it's very important We cannot leave it blank. Okay, just to make sure if it's working, you can just uh, test it. Okay, fine. So this project uh, is ready to use, now we can uh, start coding. Ok, so here we have uh, our new 4j ready as well. Make sure that if it's running in the background, it still should be running. So meanwhile, let's open Chrome again just need to write here new 4j python there are few libraries that support new 4j integration in python 
and you can get all of the information on your 4j's website as well so i would recommend two of them one is new 4j driver which is uh, recommended by new 4j itself one library is new 4j driver and uh, the other one which is my favorite and i use it a lot and which is, that is uh, that is python new so python new have multiple versions uh, currently it's version 2 version 3 and version 4 are being utilized so you can choose any of them uh, but be careful if you are choosing version 3 or version 4 there may be a syntax difference and uh, as well as in new 4j there is a syntax difference for new 4j connectivity and for other functions as well so you need to be careful uh, in selecting the version and library so let's see, uh, we search here new 4j python and uh, I just open first page to show you uh, the basic code is given there. So uh, first library as I told you is new 4j driver which is officially supported by new 4j and uh, all other libraries are also given on this page like uh, on the top of the third party. Um, libraries are Pytunio Pytunio and then new model is there so you can also find more on Google uh, but uh, two of them I have utilized one is new 4j driver and other is Pytunio new 4j driver here we have a sample code and uh, first of all you need to install that library this is a simple command pip install new 4j and uh, then there is a sample code here you can just copy paste it and then you can change according to your own requirement similarly if you will go down you have the same for pytonio as well the command to install the library and a sample code here you will see that uh, Pytonio have very simple function, very simple functionality for creating graph and fetching the data. There are two ways for uh, creating nodes and relationships in New4j and getting the data back from New4j to Python. So one is uh, using Cypher. So this is the same cipher that you already have practiced in new 4j just you need to copy that cipher and you have to put it in tx.run here and it would it would work whether it's a create query or match query but as it's a um, new 4j's official library and uh, it's highly sophisticated library so it's a little bit uh, Mm, a little bit experience is required to understand its functionalities uh, otherwise you can just copy paste this code and you can use you can change here to make your own query uh, on the other hand if we use pi to new pi to new gives you two ways one is uh, cipher as it is and the other is uh, it's by default um, functions of creating node like create node create relationship there are uh, several um, built-in functions that can do all of the cipher stuff for us we don't need to go in detail so uh, first of all we need to install library and if you are using it on console then there is a command to install library otherwise uh, you can just go from uh, to the pycharm 
settings and uh, here you have list of libraries you can just click here on this plus icon and right here apply to new so right now i'm using uh, pytonio 4.3.0 so it means we have to see the documentation accordingly documentation of python new version 4 just install this library meanwhile it's installing let's see uh, what its documentation says so you can see uh, it's a different uh, documentation of different versions are available uh, but we have to see accordingly and also write yes python new version 4 So this is a Python new version 4 documentation. So this part is done. We have installed the library. You can see here. Okay, one more thing that you have to uh, you have to be very careful when using a pro appropriate function they are saying that this python new version is compatible with these versions of python and at least these versions of new 4j so make sure that uh, your python is 3.7 or 3.6 or 3.5 not more than that so let's see if my python Yes, my Python is already a Python 3.7, so hopefully it would work. So you can uh, directly come here on node and relationship objects. So simply we can import node and relationship and then just in node we can give the type of node and then attributes comma separated attributes and then this a and b becomes node objects and similarly there is a relationship function we can make our relationship very easily So it's that much easy using Python Neo. So first of all, we need to create connection with Neo 4J. For that. We can simply copy paste these lines Okay, here in the password section, you need to give your own password. And then uh, let's uh,
let's try to make a simple node Okay, here we go. Let's see. Okay, you can see. Uh, we made first node using python here you can see that uh, we have written the cipher query in these three inverted commas so make sure that uh, you use these three inverted commas um, three inverted commas are used for documentation in python as well as for writing queries in Python. Okay. On the other hand, if we uh, want to use its uh, functions, default functions for making nodes and relationships. then we can do it like node 1 maybe and then node give here a type of node and then let's see the syntax was once again Okay, then graph root create. And here we will pass this node object. So, let's run this. So, here you can see we have made node using 
built-in function node similarly if we want to make let's see um, let's make this example from the database before heading to forward so let's say we want to make a node type animal and its name is cat and uh, the other node is an object type and its uh, name is mat or we can say that uh, fur and then we will do the same to make this node into the new 4j and then we will make a relationship object here we will pass the node and their properties we can pass them um, its simple requirements are that you, you, you need to pass um, node objects like this node 1 it should become it should be node 2 ok we should pass node 2 so we can simply pass node objects like this node 1 and in the middle you will you will give the relationship like has and then again uh, this is a relationship object and you have to make it into the new 4j you have to call graph.create let's run this ok no error let's see and we have successfully made this graph here in your 4j using python ok so in the next part of the video we will see that how to identify these words and uh, these words from the sen uh, from the sentence and this relationship from the sentence using NLP techniques. Thank you. Love this.